about my own success as a, as a coach, what makes me what I am. If, I'm, if I am successful as, as a football coach, uh, I think it's my consistency probably, uh, my determination to be successful, my persistency to achieve. Uh, I think this is probably my greatest quality, you know, as a coach along with having tremendous patience with people, you know, and players. That's all right. We just, we just got to get it smooth out. Work a little faster. Work a little faster. Work a little bit slower. I've always been able to handle my emotions pretty well. Doug, you dumbhead! Tell me, tell me those six scramble left. Watch for the blitz. It's something that you must deal with constantly. You have so many forces working on you. Okay, I want Tooney. I want Tooney on the next timeout. Let's go. Uh, 32 feet. Hey, Burrow, that's ridiculous. You can't go hot. You can't use hot on defense. I'm very relaxed in a football game. I'm not really uh, uptight in most cases. When I became a Christian uh, in 1958, uh, my outlook changed tremendously uh, as far as pressure was concerned because I had a commitment I had a, I knew that I was in God's hands, you know, from then on. So I never worried too much about the future. And therefore, it gave me a calming effect. And it always has. It, it, it's tremendous the way that I can handle uh, pressure situations that we've had in the past with the Cowboys where we lost tremendously tough games uh, that just emotionally uh, drove you right to your knees. You know, it, it was just a... Uh, you just can't imagine unless you've been through this kind of experience. But quickly I was back up again. I was back at my job. I was overcoming what we had to overcome. Therefore, this has made it uh, made a, a excellent situation for me personally. And I've been able to handle these situations because of that. Five, five, you five. All right, let's pick up the pace now. Still on over there.